Harry, delighted that you signed for Kilmarnock. A very warm welcome to Ayrshire's Finest. Um, how are you feeling? What's your reaction? Uh, yeah, um, just really excited. Obviously really happy to be here. Um, I've come up last week, uh, trained with the lads and, and really enjoyed it. Um, obviously know the gaffer um, from, from a few years ago and um, you know, I've really enjoyed it the last week, so so delighted to have signed. You said that you've been up for a week previously on trial. How quickly into that trial did you, you start to feel at home and think that this is somewhere I could I could play my football? Yeah, straight away to be fair, the, the lads are brilliant. Um, it's a good group. Um, so it's dead easy to come into the into the changing room. Um, so yeah, just uh, happy to be here now. You mentioned there as well. You you've played with the gaffer, uh, played for the gaffer before. What what's he like? It's obviously a trust element from you and from him as well. So that'll make things a lot easier. But what is he like to work with? Um, yeah, he's good. He you know he, he wants everyone to work hard. Um, he, he'll he'll get a good togetherness together in the in the changing room. Um, he'll get everyone working for each other. Um, you know, and that's he'll want as a as a forward thinking player. He'll he'll, he'll let me do what I need to do and let me run with the ball and, and get crosses in and, and hopefully score some goals as well. What can then, that you're saying forward thinking, you let you get balls into the box, what can we expect from you, what can Kilmarnock fans look forward to seeing from Harry Bunn? Um, I'd, I'd say I'm quite direct when I get the ball, um, you know, I, I, I like to run with the ball, um, get into the box as, as much as I can and hopefully chip him with a few goals. How would you describe yourself then as a player? You said forward thinking, but elaborate a little bit more. What are your favourite things to do on the field and, and what gets you going to describe yourself? Um, yeah, I, do, I like cutting in from the left. Um, so starting on the left and cutting in, um, getting shots off. Um, or I can you know, go, go the other way and, and get some crosses in as well. So Harry, let's have a look back at the, at the start of your career. You started out at Man City phenomenally big club. wasn't quite maybe as big then when you were there. What, what was it like? Tell us more. Uh, yeah, I started going there when I was nine. Um, I think they were in the championship at the time. Um, so I got to about 14 or 15 um, and obviously the, all the money started coming in there. Um, and obviously a massive changeover in players and, and probably quality of players as well um, that they were bringing in. So it was, you know, when I got to 18, 19, moved up to, to uh, the reserve side and, and obviously trained um, and, and played in pre-season games with the first team. Um, so it was obviously a great experience for me and um, you know, something that, that I look back at with fond memories. Who were the kind of big players at Man City when you were there, when you were moving up into the reserves and who did you look up to at Man City? Um, obviously that David Silva was there, um, Yaya Torre was, was there at the time, um, obviously Aguero and Tevez. Uh, what were these guys like? Yeah, they were good, uh, as, you can, as you can imagine. Um, <laughs> they were top draw. Uh, were they quite good with reserve players and younger guys coming in? Yeah, were they? yeah they were, to be fair. Um, you had the likes of James Milner, um, Gareth Barry, who would you know, look out for the young lads probably a bit more. Um, but obviously it was, it was a good environment to, to be uh, playing and training. So that will stood you in good stead for throughout your career, and you've experienced quite a lot in English football as well. Yeah, um, obviously went went out on loan um, a few times. Um, obviously hard to get into a first team, and they've got got players like that. Um, but yeah, went 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 out on loan a few times, um, and then ended up uh, signing for Huddersfield permanently there, um, and I had a, had a good time there. Um, left just after we got promoted to the Premier League, so. Um, you know, left on quite a, a good high, um, and uh, yeah, then I went to Bury, um, and that's that's. Uh, yeah, I think it's been story. been totally well documented. I was going to touch on 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 Bury later on, but it's been very well documented what happened there. Now that must have been unbelievably tough for you, the staff, and every fans and everyone involved. But how did you how did you deal with that? And then after it. How did you deal with keeping yourself fit? What were you doing? Yeah, it was tough. Um, you know, it was tough for, for the players, staff, and, and fans, and, and everyone involved at the club. Um, you know, as a player, you sign for a club. You, you never think something like that's going to happen. Um, obviously, you know, all the lads got bills, mortgages to pay, like everyone else, and um, all of a sudden, you know, your, your wages just stop coming in, and um, you know, you kind of traps it. Mm -hmm. there and you can't move um, so it was tough um, but obviously you know that's that's gone now and um, you know I've, I managed to keep fit the last six months and 
um, been in training um, with people that I know. Um, and then obviously the, the opportunity came up to, to come up there and grab it with both hands. New place then, um, a new country as well. What do you know about Scottish football? Who do you know up here as well? Um, I knew, obviously, when I was at Man City, um, you had the likes of Vladimir Weiss, who came up there to, to Rangers, um, Dedrick Boyata, mm -hmm. was at Celtic for a bit. Um, so, obviously, I, I followed it um, a, a little bit. Um, but, obviously, I, I spoke to, to a few lads that have played up there, um, and they said they said go straight up. Um, said the coverage up there is brilliant, the, the standard's brilliant. Um, and I don't think it gets the, the recognition that it, it should do. You are sat, as we can see in shot, beside the oldest trophy literally ever going, the Scottish Cup, the most prestigious trophy in Scotland as well. We last won that in 1997. You could make your debut in that competition this weekend. Is that something you're relishing? Does it make it a little bit more special, being our equivalent of the FA Cup? Yeah, I think so. Um, obviously, you know, um, in England, the, the FA Cup's massive as well. Um, so I'm sure it's, you know, the same same up there and... Uh, everyone in, in, enjoys a good cup time. Um, you know the atmosphere is usually um, good. So yeah, if, we, if I do get the opportunity to make my debut, then that'll be um, it'll be great. Have you got any kind of? Because obviously at the moment we can't compare Scottish Cup to FA Cup, but have you got any good or any notable FA Cup appearances or stories or things that stick out from cup competitions? Uh, yeah, when I was at Huddersfield, we we drew Man City, um, so that was that was good. We we drew nil nil at home. Um, and then went to their place. The chairman would have been delighted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, managed to score. We went, we went one nil up uh, after about nine minutes, I think. And then uh, they they uh, went through the gears a bit, and and uh, I think they won five one in the end. But it was a good experience. Obviously, going back there and and scoring as well was a, a nice feeling. And just to kind of round off, then what excites you the most about the challenge coming to Scotland, coming to Kilmarnock? Um, I just I think the fact that it's new something new to me, um, you know, new surroundings, new league. Um, you know, I, I can't wait to get started, and um, you know, I, I know it's a great club to be at. You know, speaking to the lads, they, they all said positive things about the club, and you know, the the well looked after here, and uh, everything's done properly. Um, so you know, I want to be I want to be a part of that. Well, we're certainly looking forward to seeing you play. We hope you make your debut on Saturday against Queen's Park. And Harry, once again, welcome to Kilmarnock and all the best. Cheers, thank you.